aid will soon be pouring into the storm ravaged islands from around the world. Here at home, Global Medic is always on standby to head to parts that are in, uh, in threat. Now they're going to be heading down to the Caribbean. Joining us live is the executive director, Raul Singh. Good afternoon, Raul. You know, a huge blow to the islands, 95% destruction in some cases. What will be the most immediate need? You know, the, all the basic infrastructure, shelter, access to clean water, these are the things that, that folks are going to need. Now, Barbuda, for example, is uninhabitable, so people are just going to have to move out of that, go into Antigua, go into other areas, and then start the rebuild. Our, our focus is going to be to get into areas where people are and they need their basics. So our initial programming is going to be about getting folks clean water. We'll probably start in the hospitals and the and the clinics and the medical facilities, other shelters, and then deliver point of source water purification units so that we can you know, get those people clean water, keep them healthy. We've also put our drone program on the table and uh, offered it up to you know, map out these emergency zones. We know what roads are out. We have an idea where people are. Uh, that drone program is a Canadian innovation and it'll be excellent for this, uh, for this deployment as well. And one of the big concerns, of course, is going to be Haiti. It's right in the storm's path. It is still recovering from Hurricane Matthew last year. What could Irma do to that country? Well, it's not just Haiti. That northern end of Dominican Republic is probably more in the path, and it would turn a little bit. Haiti's got a lot worse infrastructure and is a lot more vulnerable, but Dominican's in its path as well. Um, the amount of destruction and devastation that can occur in these two areas, we're very worried about. Um, you know, the folks in St. Martin, the folks in Barbuda, where, while this is a, a tragic and awful for them, their population numbers are considerably lower and they have better infrastructure than a place like Haiti. So we're really worried with the wind damage of it affecting shelters, the surge damage from the storm, the flooding of, uh, about the infrastructure being, uh, being damaged. And you remember last October we were in there on the, on the Tiburon Peninsula uh, for Haiti. Um, that was a catastrophic event. This is not looking like it's going to be any better. Okay, so what about your crews? When are they expected to head out? Um, as soon as that op airport opens up in St. Martin, we've offered their government our assistance and we've offered them uh, these, these immediate uh, uh, point of use water purification systems. As soon as we can get access with our partners there at Canada, we're in. Um, so that, that's a, a mission that's been deployed. We've just put more assets on standby for Dominican and for Haiti. I suspect they're going to be out in the next you know, 24, 36 hours. If these storms hit and they hit as hard as we think they're going to hit, we're going to want to switch gears and get aid to people in isolated areas and, and expand beyond just the communities and, and the shelters. Um, so that's going to require a bigger footprint. So if we're lucky, uh, you know, our, our Air Canada partners will be able to get us in with a lot of gear and we can deliver aid door to door to families that, that are affected. So we're ready, we're ready to go. And, you know, we're hoping that the, the storm turns north and doesn't have a deadly impact. But I mean, this is what we're ready for. All right, and your team always does great work. Raul Singh with Global Medic, thank you for the time.